not And this that. is what I believe to be the last episode of Drunk Luke. Yay! <laughs> So guys, I'm some guy named Nate, and I took a poll on Twitter just now. It says that all the fangirls are wet for Luke. Yay! Okay, I'll be honest. I thought when I was talking that that would be in the next episode. <laughs> not, the out- <laughs> not the outro for the previous one. <laughs> so you're just being... Okay, but he just, he just got, more, he got more fangirls for being honest. <laughs> but I forgot what I was going to ask, so... <laughs> Have you, haven't you been till the Luke fan appreciation walk that page? <laughs> I hope that's a page. I don't. I don't think it is. But I are there two it. demon children you're fighting? What is this? Yeah, these are the doppelganger twins. Oh yeah, that's why this chapter is called doppelganger. Do you know what she a doppelganger just... is in the realm yeah. of D D? Uh, well, okay, I know in in, mytho- in like mythological doppelganger is a creature that takes your form, kills you, and takes your place. Yes. Yes, I do know that. Well, now, what the hell is he? I ran a whole campaign of Pathfinder where it was all based on doppelgangers. Nice. It was a whole town where the the players didn't know if the person they were talking to was a, was doppelganger. a doppelganger or not. And they eventually found a magnifying glass, or not a mag, uh, whatever it was, yes. uh, that, that allowed them to see down. who was a doppelganger and who wasn't. Oh, nice. It turned out that the whole king of the whole town was also a doppelganger. N- well, yeah. not necessarily. Ooh. He was being instructed by a doppelganger. Ooh. And the whole town was infested with doppelgangers. Wow. And uh, it was actually really fun. You know what's actually a really good card in Yu-Gi-Oh? is Doppelganger. Yeah? Have you played Yu-Gi-Oh before? Yes, Go get guys. That was a really good card, because it was literally like, if they had a monster that was four stars or less, you could play Doppelganger, and I made a copy of that monster on your field. What? It's a really good card. I So, in Yu-Gi-Oh, I played a deck that was the m- Melodious deck. Yes. Melodious. Melodious. Yes. He said it, he meant it. He melody. That was a <laughs> fucking great deck. And my buddy, he played the Legend of the Yang Zing or whatever it was. Yeah, it was like a starter deck or no? No, I don't know. He, uh, we both played it together. Yeah. Uh, my buddy uh, Brian, he, <laughs> we we all came together. He Brian recorded and we played a one two yo dat battle. We never uploaded it on the internet, but uh, my buddy who was playing. Yeah, Legend of the Yang Zing. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. I was playing the Melodious deck. Yes. And I fucking kicked his ass. Nice. And the my Tyler Wire buddy, he was like, and Tyler feels his dick going back into his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good. You know, it's actually a really good challenge if Yo. you if you want to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh. But you what you do is you and your friend buy two starter decks and then you flip a coin. So if you call it in the air, whoever like it lands on picks a starter deck. So without seeing the card contents, without reading the rules, without reading what goes with what, shuffle your deck and play that starter deck you just got against a friend. Yeah. That's what my brother and I did all the time. Yeah. It's the best way to do it because then it's not fair because you're not like, guess what, bitch? I have my entire deck is Exodia's right leg. Fuck you. Now look, I played Pokemon when I, yes. since I was seven years old. That oh. was the game I started with, as far as card games. The go. doppelgangers are going to be sad as homie's dead. Continue. Yeah. Now, uh, seven years old, Pokemon, whatever. Yeah. When I got older, we tried to upgrade to, to Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. Now, my buddy, his name was, uh, was Slicker Slot. Okay, Slicker Slot. Yeah, so yeah. Slicker Slot, he got a $200 gift card to Amazon.com. Wow. Yes. That's nuts. For his Christmas present. Wow. Guess and what he, he spent it on? The Millennium God cards. He bought $200 worth of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Wow. And that's where we all coined the phrase. Pulling a Schlier slot. <laughs> 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 that would be good, but we can coin that phrase now. Anyway, <laughs> pulling a Schlier slot, he invested in $200 worth of Amazon gift cards. Or, no, not gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say... Two hundred dollars worth of Yu-Gi-Oh cards on Amazon. Now you're not really able to give cards. Nobody did. I don't see what's wrong with that. He got a gift card. He didn't know what to get, so he got himself a gift card. God damn it! No, so he invested in two hundred dollars worth of Yu-Gi-Oh cards on Amazon. Okay, got you. Son of a bitch. Now that was a 
very bad investment. Anyway, <laughs> um, so he did buy that many uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and that's where we coined oh. the phrase. Pulling your sleeper sign. That's a lot of <laughs> that's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and, and so we would actually say that on anything. Like that's a lot of Magic cards. That's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Whatever. Yeah. So it's like, oh man, I got a two hundred dollar bonus at work. Well, shit, that's, that's, a, that's lot a lot of, of Magic cards. <laughs> so, you know, like you know, So anyway, so that's funny. So it was like he got a two hundred dollar gift card to Amazon. Well, shit, that's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> so he bought two hundred dollars worth of Yu-Gi-Oh cards on Amazon, mm -hmm. and um. That's how I got into Yu-Gi-Oh! And... Aww, poor Sigmund. <laughs> Sigmund Freud? Yeah, that's his name. Freud me Sig. See, <laughs> Sigmund pretty... and Simon. He only has one arm. It's pretty good. Oh! So that's how I got into Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yes. And so it went from Pokemon to Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm -hmm. And then eventually, when I got older, to Magic. Nice. I never got past Yu-Gi-Oh! I love Yu-Gi-Oh! It's so good. Yeah. Or let um, me drop you a ladder played for you. I've played Magic the Gathering. I just haven't. <clears throat> I haven't just got. I haven't got any decks for it. I haven't. I don't own any Magic the Gathering cards. I have a ton of Magic the Gathering Dude, cards. Dude, yeah. You've got Magic cards. I've got Magic cards. You do not. Yes. We can play a game on the channel. On a channel, one of our three channels, somewhere. Well, I don't pointing. care whose it is. Okay. I don't have that channel. Make a new channel for Luke, everybody, and send it to him. If you guys really do want me to make a channel, I will. But I. Doubt's gonna happen. Well, I do. If it does, okay. if it does, that's if it does, great. cool. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, um, there is a Magic the Gathering game, yes. and this lady is talking, and she does not have any front teeth. No, she has fangs. She's basically the, uh, a dick sucking Dustin. champion. Dustin from uh, Stranger Things. Oh yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Have you seen all the memes of this stupid face? Oh, she yeah. took out some of the the other ones already. So nice. it's, it's telling me that. Uh, I know anyway, I don't want to distract from the, the, from the channel what's actually going on. Here. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that mouth. All they have to do is read the subtitles. Yeah. Through, uh, just mute it. And like, I, listen to our commentary and then go back and watch it again for the subtitles. Yeah. But I do I do really want to say one thing. What? And it doesn't have to be on the channel. So. Okay. Anyway. Now. Yes. Um, if... You want to play Magic the Gathering? I have yes. a really good game to play while playing Commander, and okay. I have a shitload of Commander decks. Okay. Um, that you can play while drinking. Okay. Up, oh, you're locked in. You can literally jump through those bars. Continue. Oh, he killed Mints for the oh, final no. time. She's still alive. We killed her twice, and good. she's still alive. And but now it's she's nice dead. Because oh no, she Kano'd her. No, she's dead. You know what I mean by like pulling a Kano? Remember yeah. Kano yeah. Mortal Kombat? <laughs> have you ever seen yeah. a movie for Mortal Kombat? Yes, I have. When Kano's like, give me a break, love. Yeah. And then Sonya's <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> you know what my favorite part of that entire movie is? When Johnny Cage's sunglasses get broken, he's like, you oh. owe me some new sunglasses. They're like 300 bucks or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's um, so funny. And what's the guy that kills him? Uh, Goro. Goro, yes. yes. And Goro's then the they go on him. the freaking cliff edge and... Am uh, I supposed to kick this down or what? Probably. Well, she there's blue him. there. There's blue. Well, he's on the other side of the fence. Yeah? Well, I'm kind of on the fence about this. <laughs> kind of on the fence. I see what you did there, mate. Yeah, I'm funny. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm hilarious. I'm big funny. I have more fangirls than Luke now. Check the list. Oh, he's talking still, so I'm probably not going to be able to um, kick it down until he's gone. Yeah, well, he's going to leave and he's going to be like, Long, Yeah, so yeah. Look, now look at the fence. It's starting to break. Yeah, I figured. Oh, uh, whoopee cushion. Yeah. You died doing the thing you loved. Dying. You, you weren't bored, so that's did okay. She, did she love dying? Yeah, she, like, she, she wanted to be bored. <laughs> she, she was, you love dying? <laughs> yes. I said it, I meant to Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Who loves dying? Ooh, yeah, look at that zoom in. Yeah, look at those thighs. Did she love dying? <laughs> yes. I guess she did, but... Well, she just accomplished her task. What her life fuck? goal was to die. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Fine, she loved dying, but I guess okay, she okay. did... She died doing what, what she, she loved. She dying. <laughs> Alright, okay. what, what's next, uh, Vince? No, we're still doing this Vince, one, my boy! This one is mission left. The last mission. Yep. The, the marathon of Blood Rain. This is the last We mission. did an hour and 20 minutes of Gex and about an hour and 20 minutes of this today. Yeah, we did. And we did an unboxing of the Bulge. <laughs> <laughs> we 
Vince we unboxed the bulge. <laughs> Vinsanity after dark. <laughs> Vincini, Vinsanity after bulge. <laughs> no, he just, it's his new channel on Pornhub. He's got like, he's just got the box on his crotch. He's like, are you ready for an unboxing? You ready for this? Oh! <laughs> and then Luke, and then Luke's having a good time. Sorry, I'm really Luke is drunk. having a great time. I'm really drunk. He's taking my okay. jokes and Tomorrow picking back Friday. on Omar. Tomorrow's Friday. Yes, it's true. Oh, we, we, we don't got to work I'm for the so weekend. Glad it's Friday. So, Luke. Yes. Here's here's a, here's, a, here's a new uh, role play thing. I am going to. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> you know, not sexual role play, just normal role play. All right, fine. Okay, I am a magician, and you are the studio audience, and you're going to be wowed by my magic. Are you ready? Well, can it be sexual first? Sure, I will. I will do dick magic. My my wand is my ween. <laughs> All right, here I go. Up. Okay, I am the great Flambardo, and I am here to make my dick appear. Whoosh! What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> you bought the ticket. You told me. Whoa, great Flambardo! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay, we'll give Luke an easy one. Okay, you are the coach of an all-girl volleyball team. Oh, no. uh, and Vince and I are girl volleyball players. I'm going to start it off, okay? <clears throat> Vivian, you look so fetched today. When you got that spike, it was so cool. Did you see Luke in the audience? He was checking you out. You're not responding. <laughs> Luke! Luke walks I, over. I was reading the commentary on the on the Luke screen. Luke walks over with his chest pumped. He says, "Vivian, did you notice your shoes are tied? <laughs> if you did, please turn around and I will." Uh... Where's this joke going? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, if my shoes are tied, I ain't bending over. You can bend over all you want, Vivian, and I will. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Now, we can play the volleyball game or you can uh, bend over. I mean, wait a minute. Tie your shoes. What's wrong with Luke, everybody? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Luke's Your doing. shoes are untied, Vivian. I don't know. He's really funny right now, though. My, my cheekbones hurt. <laughs> Okay. Okay. New, new, new hypo. Okay. New, okay. new. Okay. New one. New script. Okay. I'll be honest. You, you, yes. <laughs> Haven't you been all along? Yeah, actually. <laughs> He's burning. Oh okay. crap! Those I'll, two bitches. I'll be honest though. Um, okay. When I was younger, my dad wanted. Did I already me. kill him with one swing? I think so. The other guy's a lot tougher. Can you I didn't start? even get a finish my story. <laughs> no, say <laughs> your story. Go ahead. So, um, uh, when I was younger, um, uh, my dad slash stepmom, whatever. They wanted to make my sister and I do something active for the summertime. So yes. they wanted us to join a volleyball team. Volleyball is not a very boyish sport. No, it's not. No. So, um, I <clears throat> spent... Is the final boss, though, you got this? I spent the entire summer hitting on the coaches for the volleyball team. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Coach Stratos... Bend over, your shoes are tied. Don't worry, the uh, <laughs> shoes you're untied story is not true. But um, no, um, we would have like lunch breaks, lunch breaks in between each of the volleyball like uh, sessions. Yes. And I was the oldest of the. Well, actually, I was the only male for one. And yeah. I was the oldest person nice. there. Nice. So, so there was an estrogen session. Going yeah. On. Nice. Uh, I was the only person there. Old, was eldest a, person it was there. A, it, was a, it was. It was. It was a clam fest, as it were. Yeah. Right. Anyway, okay. so like, I mean, I, I'll be honest with you. I hit on the coaches, yeah. and they were elder. They, they, they were older than uh, yes. elder. They were older. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a seventy-year-old boy. I meant to say older, not no, elder. No, no, guys, everybody. What I'm predict, what I'm thinking of is like a ten-year-old Luke hitting on a seventy-year-old woman. <laughs> no. <laughs> and no. she's like, yes. "Granny, want a popsicle?" <laughs> <laughs> they were older than everyone there. Yes, they, they weren't older than the age of like fourteen or fifteen. Okay, cool. But I was like, uh, I, I'll be honest, I was like. 11 or 12. You were a player. And I, and I was freaking like hitting on these like uh, volleyball stars. Not, not stars, but. <laughs> yeah, you I walk up to them. Volleyball them, you're like, um, coaches. <laughs> you walk up to them, you're like, find me on Kickstarter. I'm on their baby. <laughs> Kickstarter was not a thing. 
You know, like, Guaranteed. I got a high score in Tomb Raider. It was good. <laughs> Tomb Raider left that taste. <laughs> but anyway, I'll be, I'll be honest. So I was I was honestly hitting on these uh, volleyball coaches. That's what you got to do. And my this sister. This is how we do it. She was part of it. You have half health, homie. Yeah. She was a volleyball coach that you were hitting on? No! <laughs> it's going full circle, everybody. Son of a bitch. Oh, okay. God. I'm not Asian. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you, full circle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. From <You're>... Gex. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes back to Gex 3, everybody. Yeah. Okay, new, new, new one. I am a patient at the doctor's office, and you've got terrible news for me, Luke. My wife is Vince. Here we go. I'm sitting on the table. <laughs> That's terrible news. Okay, I- I'm sitting on the table. I'm like, oh, oh, the do- do- doctor's coming in. Hello, doctor. Oh, doctor, doctor Bard. <sighs> doctor Bard, what is going on? What's my wrong name, with me? My name is Doctor Bard. Yes, I, I, must, I know. I saw in your name tag. I must tell you. What's wrong with me? What is your name? I must look at the charge. My name's uh, Eldrick. I'm not gonna bring this one. New. Eldrick. Eldrick. Yeah, I fought in three wars, you know. Vince. My wife's name's not Vince. Vivian. <laughs> Vivian. <laughs> I'm sorry. She looks like a man. I'm really sorry. <laughs> don't anyway, don't judge me. I'm sorry for the for the, the life you've had. It's until okay. This, it happens all the time. Point. Anyway, I, I met her during the Civil War. It was crazy. Vivian must die. And well, I have. Why to not me? I'm on life support. I have to tell you why. why? Wait, are you you're on life support? <laughs> yeah, my wife's fine. She's right there. She's reading uh, Cosmo. Shit, I've got the wrong chart. <laughs> <laughs> He's out to hear you quack. <laughs> okay, Give me some gelatin. I have to say something, though. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Whoever's chart I am reading. Yes. <laughs> You're fucked. You're done. And your You're, name's Vivian now. <laughs> You're done. Your name's Vivian, for one thing. And for two... You're done. You've had too many Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> Cheetos? We don't even sell Cheetos as at the hospital. As long as they're the hot little <coughs> chili. Yeah. Flavor. Okay, uh, another uh, fun scenario. You are bodybuilder Blake Barnrow, and you are lifting at the World's Strongest Man competition, and I'm the announcer. Okay, go. Here's Blake Barnrow. He's lifting. He's doing his flexes. He's standing up. He's doing another cool pose. He is ready. He's doing the Hulk Hogan. And he is probably going to lift the time limit. And you guys can't see this, but he is actually, like, <laughs> rusting actually, in air. His time limit is going down. He's got five seconds. He needs to do something. <laughs> he lifted an entire Volkswagen with his dick. He's flipping it. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay, sick. <laughs> Vince. Uh, wait, was I Vince? Was no, I Vince? Vince? No, I hope so. No, you were Blake Barnwell. God damn it! <laughs> Can't even get that right. <laughs> you need to remember your stupid character names I make for you. <laughs> no. Okay, 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 okay. Make up your own name. You are a beard cream salesman. A beard cream? Yes, to make your beard shinier. <laughs> Can I be a beard oil salesman? Yes, you'll be a beard oil salesman. You are a beard oil salesman. Door to door, I open my door and I actually want the product. I'm not going to be mean to you. I'm not going to make up stupid names. I'm going to be Nate and you're going to be the beard oil salesman. Ring the doorbell. Ring bong. Okay, I'll be there in a second. Hello? Uh, my, name is, <laughs> my name is Josh. I, <laughs> okay, Josh, tell me your product. I know you have a suitcase right there. Product? <laughs> product. Oh, <laughs> so I've got a really <coughs> good product for you. Now, what's it called? <coughs> are you okay, Josh? <laughs> I think there's something <laughs> wrong with Josh. <laughs> Josh, are you okay? <laughs> Do you like a glass of water? I need something. Here you go. Oh, I spat a little bit. I'm sorry. Here you go. Here's your water. Take the water. Take the imaginary water. Okay, cool. Screw that. I've got something better. That's anyway, my favorite glass. I've got it. You got beard oil. I noticed you've got a pretty nice looking beard. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Well, thank you. Have you ever thought about putting one of my special sauces in that beard? It's a sauce now. <laughs> Have you ever thought about it? I never thought about it. Because you've never told me you're selling sauces yet. Well, I have a special sauce. I call it a special sauce. All right, cool. How much is the special sauce, man? I put them on for it every day. Yeah, your beard looks like a tomato. Have you ever seen this tomato in real life before? Yes, I have. 
<laughs> right know. now. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right now. Have you ever seen it before? <laughs> that right now. <laughs> you smell like Smirnoff. Are you okay? Have you ever seen <laughs> my special sauce in a in any beer before? Right no, now. No. No. I have not, Josh. I guarantee you have. <laughs> really? Whose yes, beard? My special sauce has been in everyone's beard. At one time or another. <laughs> I guarantee it has. Because my special sauce is the most popular sauce in any beard, in any oil, in any factory. Sweet, you don't have to tell me twice how much is this magical beard sauce. Why would you buy it from any other dealership other than mine? I haven't told you from what. Straight from the source of my sauce. Straight from the sauce. <laughs> Straight from the sauce source. <laughs> okay. I I'll, gu- <laughs> I'll take a jar. I guarantee my sauce will... <laughs> I guarantee if you buy my sauce straight from the source, which I can guarantee <laughs> is right in my pocket right now. Okay, cool. Oh, it looks like a phone? No. <laughs> <laughs> You buy my sauce. How much? I got my checkbook right now. I will give you a special book. (laughs) What's the book about? The book is about auto... (laughs) Folangio. (laughs) Folangio. Now, (laughs) you buy my auto (laughs) Folangio book, you get a special sauce for free, and I'm out of your hair. Are you out of my beard, though? No, not that hair, a different hair. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> How much for the book are <laughs> deal? It's about 20,000 er, uh, 20,000 Deblerns. <laughs> this is America. I don't fucking have Deblerns. You can't fight in this time. Why is this so fucking funny? <laughs> <laughs> you take my Deblerns right now. <laughs> Why am I taking your deplorance? I have to pay you deplorance. Okay, the story's over. I'll okay, take the fine. beard cream or sauce. <laughs> it's okay. a special sauce. Okay, Luke. Make, make a story for us now. You get to give us rolls. All right. <coughs> give us the situation. This is really good commentary. It's so funny. <laughs> that was stupid. It was great All talk. Right. I couldn't stop giggling. Okay, I'm, I'm good. All right. We're good. Cool. Story time. Vince is a snowman. Okay. He comes up right to your door. Cool. Mr. Snowman Frost. Frosty Pants is what they call it. What's my motivation? So, your motivation? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So, uh, Mr. Frosty Pants Uh has a special... Sauce. Not a sauce, in this case. Okay. He has a special... uh, It's called... It is a special product. Yes. It is called the Magic Finger. Okay, cool. And he wants to sell you this Magic Finger, and uh, your your wife is going to love this Magic Finger. <laughs> he is going to tell you why that your wife is going to love this Magic Finger. Okay, cool. Ready? All right, oh, this, this is, is a phone call. Or... This is going to be hard. <laughs> no, no, this is again. not a phone call. Okay, it's door to door? Nope. Okay. Exactly not door to door. You uh, I come, built the snowman. You have come into the store, and you were actually looking for a different product. Other than the magic how, finger? Yes, and it's not related. But, okay. however, Mr. Snowman here is actually going to sell you this magic finger. Um, okay, cool. Even though you're really going for a completely different product. Okay, cool. Ready? <clears throat> do to do driving through the grocery store, trying to get some oranges. That's literally only the thing I came in for. Hey, look, a snowman. No, no, no. You don't want those oranges. What but you these want? Oranges are brand no, new. No, no, oranges. Smells nobody like likes oranges, oranges what? anymore. No, my nobody wife needs loves vice. oranges. What your wife needs is the finger. And let me tell. You, <laughs> I told you. Let me tell you about this finger. I really want you to try out this finger on your wife. Okay, cool. It Can is I try out the oranges first? No, no, you don't need the oranges. I have, don't know how to explain this any further to you. Oranges, vitamin C, oranges, it's important. healthy stuff. Not it good for your wife. The, yeah, prevents Fingers the sniffles. are good for your wife. Let me tell you about this. They're <laughs> good for her. <laughs> okay, I could buy this bag of oranges for $5. How much is this oh, yeah, Okay, thing? let me tell you. Uh, those oranges are going to give your wife maybe, I don't know, a couple days of enjoyment. Now, okay. I'm talking about bliss. This okay. finger will give your wife bliss for a very long time. Why is it made of tungsten carbonite? 
Who said it was made of tungsten carbonite? It looks like it's made of tungsten carbonite. Well, that's just the rubber that it's made here. out of. I can smell it through the you oranges. Know, they, make, they make they make they make gnome dildos out of the same material. I didn't know and this. It's just as good as quality. Okay, cool. Why is it leaking radioactive fluid on the floor of this grocery store? Because it's it's so new and inventive. It's got to have a new fuel, and that is a What's radioactive fuel? fuel. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Do you think that this finger runs on hopes and dreams? No, yeah. actually I did. No, it does not. It is a very, you know, great source it's of a great energy. Sauce. It will create a great sauce, if that's what you want. You, you know what's you know, weird? I, earlier this morning, a guy walked up to me about beard sauce. And now there's radioactive fluid. I just want my damn oranges. And did you buy this beard and, sauce? No, I didn't. This man is crazy. Why, why wouldn't you he, buy the beard he sauce? He wanted to blurn, so I don't have those. <laughs> You don't have the blurns? I don't have has the blurns. <laughs> what is the blurns with the magic finger cost? It is the new currency. The dollar is going to oh, die. Oh fuck, I need to get a job. In fact, this magic finger costs just 100 de blurns. <laughs> Dude. And if you I buy it now I within the next 60 seconds, I'll throw in another one for absolutely free. <laughs> Holy shit. If you've good got thing the blurns for it. Do, good thing I didn't spend 10,000 de blurns on that. I could buy so many magic fingers. How about the radiation? Is there any side effects of the radiation? Eh, nothing more than you might expect. You know, deformed babies or anything like that. But <laughs> can I, can I know, grow a second dick? The finger, the finger <laughs> doesn't do auto cause babies. Better? Can I do auto fellatio better? No. You can Damn. never do auto fellatio better than the finger. These oranges can help me with that. <laughs> I, I gotta I tell you, what, what really got me was that you were like, what's this radioactive fluid going on the floor? And this is like, Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't address the, the radioactive fluid either. <laughs> He's just like, oh, it's cool. <laughs> no, don't, don't worry about that. That's, just, <laughs> that's what to be expected. <laughs> you know, Mr. Snowman's a better salesman than oh, Josh. God. <laughs> okay, you want to make a better situation, no. Luke? Okay. No, you make terrible situations. <laughs> that one was really funny. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. That was horrible. Ugh. I'm the worst. Uh, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. I'm going to keep thinking about the blurns. I, oh my god. I'm probably, this is freaking insanely impossible. I'm, I'm oh man, I guess Jack it. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 right now. Why? Because titties? Nope. Why? You have to say yes. Oh, because it's your favorite game of all time? Nope. Because beard sauce? Nope. Because, because they didn't have any eye holes and they wear sunglasses. That's the okay. ticket. <laughs> I, just, I, was, I was talking and about... And they can shoot with accuracy. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Last attempt, everybody. We're going to see how good Vince does. That guy, it's so stupid because you think he goes down, but he doesn't. He's just a clown, and it makes me frown. Who is this Arceus fucker? He is Demon Joe. He sells propane and propane accessories. Oh, dude, I've been watching so much King of the Hill. I love King of the Hill. It's so it's, good. It's actually really funny. You know who uh, wrote it? Kind of. Who? Um, Mike Judge. Yes, Mike I Judge. love Mike Judge. Yeah. He's a hilarious man. And you know what else he writes? Beavis and Butthead. Yes. Yes. And you know what else he writes? The Good Family. Uh, probably. But yes. I don't know. Um, oh, God, it was a fail cartoon. It was, it, was like, it was like opposite King of the Hill. So King of the Hill was like... Blue or yeah, wh blue collar like yeah. Republican. It was like white collar Democrat. Well, well, hold on now. Um, currently, what? Mike Judge holds that it did not take political stance. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, King of the Hill, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about the Good Family. I, I think the Good Family did. But watch but, all eight episodes of that. You'll know. But if anything, uh, the King of the Hill kind of made fun of Republicans a little bit. But yes, it, it also did. made fun of Democrats. Too. Yes. It made fun of both. It, ma it made fun of a uh, lot of which shit. Which actually made it... That's one of the things that actually Mike Judge to this day says it made it so successful is that it made fun of both. Yes. Uh, because the Republicans would be happy because it pokes fun of uh, Democrats. And the Democrats could be happy because it also pokes fun of Republicans on it at the same time. Yes. So... But it, it does it in you know, flames are. it does it in such subtle ways. It's true that um, you, both parties don't really realize it at the time that yes. it's making the joke. See, Vince isn't even talking. He's so oh, focused. No, I'm, not, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> you guys are the talkers on this. Okay, episode. that's fine. 
Now, but yeah. the, what I was going to say is yes. Mike Judge made another TV show called Silicon Valley. Oh, which I've is heard of it. more current. Yes. You may not have known that Mike Judge was the person behind it. I did not. Yeah. So Mike Judge also made Silicon Valley. It's freaking hilarious. It's on HBO. Yes. Um, I have been watching it since season one, and I can wow. honestly say it is one of the best TV shows I've ever watched. It's That's good. so funny. That's good. Yeah. I always need TV show recommendations because you, yeah. you can you can't not have like TV shows or movies or games or songs that you're enjoying. You know, you always gotta have something. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Vince, you dun, are dun, freaking dun, dun. killing it right now. Don't say. Okay. Oh, you just dry. There you go. Knocked it. Oh, I'm a Charlie horse. Ah. Now I will tell you, Silicon Valley has dogs. one freaking hilarious episode that I'm gonna let you in on. Okay, cool. Um, it's. Whatever in the season, I don't remember whatever. So. It's number whatever, got it's, it. It's in season one, but um, there's a gentleman named Jared. This Not person yet. named Jared is in also The Office. Oh, okay. Which Mike Judge also kind of had a hand in a little bit. Yes. Not, not too much, but whatever. So the um, the character, Jared. There you go, he just did his um, flamethrower. Yeah. He has. I think if he's under half health, he does the flamethrower. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Yeah, no. Uh, so this guy named Jared, he has to do a. Um, Business trip. Yes. And on this business trip, he is supposed. You shoot him. No, he he uh, he's not affected by the bullets. Okay. And um, the flamethrower, watch out. Yeah. No, he's half health, dude. He's got this. He's got to stay out away from his face. That's all you got to do. Get behind me, my dude, son. I still remember when we played the freaking Resident Evil Zero freaking campaign or whatever. Yeah, okay, we need to finish that. Yeah, and we killed that guy with a knife. Yes, that yes, was a good time. The scorpion dude. Yes. See, yes. just replicate that. Imagine he's a scorpion. Yes! Sorry, I. Okay, well, that. Mr. Wolf is down. Yes! But he's not the last one. Fuck you, Vince. He's the horn the horn guy. There's This is a two part battle. There's Mr. Wolf. Eyeball. Okay, now, I have a question. Okay. What if I have to take a piss? Then go. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're good. Okay, everybody. Second parter. And we're coming back. We're going to do this as a cut in to the last episode. Luke the extended ran away. Side. He's, I don't know where Luke went. He kind of vanished. But I was talking to Vince, and I was like... You, is that really the last boss, or are we just gonna cut it on the last boss? And Vince is like, "Yeah, I think the next time you come over, we should totally just play that." And I was like, "Okay." So now Vince is taking out the final boss on the Vince Sanity IBG show for this well, yeah, the Yeah, la the last uh, recording session that we had went until almost one o'clock. Yeah, almost one a.m. It was after we midnight, recording. getting closer and closer to one. So I was just like, "We need to cut it, guys." Like, I gotta work in the morning. Mm, I gotta sleep. So we're just gonna have to do like a mini, like two minute episode of when I kill this boss if I can do it in two minutes, which I'm pretty sure pretty I can. Yeah. I don't know. You haven't even used your big guns yet. He's taking a bit of damage. You the big guns are him. slow, but they, they do they, they a run. little bit more damage. Yes. I'm hyped, guys. I want to see what the finale brings us. Nice. I don't know if I hit him or not. You have to hit him squarely in, like, the heart. He's going back to the middle to grow. Yep. Oh, man. And he's making the controller go ham. Vibra you hear that guy? Vibration he, overloads. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> yeah. I like when games, like have super rumble and you're like oh my god I can feel my myself shooting my guns or whatever <laughs> it's vibrating so hard I can feel it in the jimmy <laughs> <laughs> like there's one like mud runner you, if you guys have watched my videos of that if you're just driving through the mud and lightly accelerating it'll lightly rumble and then if you hit a tree it'll be like Whoom! you know there's the rumble and that is really really good okay let's run around collect which is more. weird because most of the time I'm desensitized she ripple. If you guys like, didn't notice, this is a uh, Sunday morning, and Nate just woke up. Yes, well, I so did. did I. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I didn't try to just wake up. I, I, I well, I, t I did because I turned off my alarm clock. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Uh, Vince and I were going to do a movie slash TV show thing and go get some firehouse subs, and then Vince was like, "Hey, you're here anyway." I was like, "Okay, we'll record." I'm hyped. I didn't bring any of my recording equipment, everybody, so it'll just be the normal Nate stu or Vince stuff. But it it's, doesn't matter. It's literally it's, just going to be yeah. this today, and then we're going to go on with our day, so it's... Yeah. Hype. 
we're doing this special just for you guys. We're like, hey, hey let's you. just let's go ahead and finish it. Like, and, and that and that and means that uh, the final episode will go up. Uh, I think there's going to be four episodes until this this finale hits. Nice. Uh, if you guys have been paying attention, Spy Hunter finale went up yesterday. Yes, it did, as of this recording session. As of this recording session. I yeah. need to watch it. That's the only one I... Oh, my God. That's the only one I haven't watched. But I know what happens in it because I was there. But you guys don't know what happens in it, so you should go ahead and watch it. Please. Wow, that's chipping him. Yeah. That's chipping him hard. I think he's stuck. Nice. I'll take advantage of it. Nice. <laughs> I love when he's glitching. <laughs> Makes it easy for us. Oh, oh I'm out of guns. guns. Wait, wait, wait. Big gun. Nice. Oh, that got him to move. Aw. Oh, you missed the last sniper shot. That's okay. But you got your SMGs okay. back. Sweet. He's ready and raring to go. He's ready to go. I also have a... Go, uh, go, 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 go. Oh, yo, yo. Nice. I need... Okay. I hit him. That was, that was really good, actually. He started to skull it. Starting to be a Scully Meganus. Nice. Dude, you're really good with those. You just gotta it. hold them. Like, and hold them accuracy. Aww. I was a little bit too early. Nice. He's oh, almost. I saw him rearing up for that yeah. punch. Yeah. yeah! Like I told you, I didn't think he was gonna be too hard at the end. That was pretty sweet. And then <coughs> I was gonna say kablam, and then I started cussing. Cussing, coughing. coughing. Yeah. <laughs> I also started cussing. I was like, damn it. Oh man, getting sucked into the void. Aww. Splat. Is he gonna go through the grates? Is he landed on some grates? Did you it, see that? It, it is landing. Oh. This is just my boobs. Yeah. In fact, if if you don't do that after being the game, yeah, yeah, you're not doing it right. You're gonna adjust your boobs and then yeah. flip off the TV. That's how you do it. Yeah, all that's left of the big demon guy is a heart. So I bet she's gonna beat the crap out of the heart or kick it through the vent. It's like right on a vent too. You see that? Yeah, it's still. Uh, you don't know. It might happen Maybe on the second one. Who <laughs> yeah. knows? There is right. a second one, and I will be playing it, but I'm not going to be playing it right away. So uh, uh, I'd say I'd predict it, guys, like mm, like May June area because we got to beat some more games. Unless you want to do it earlier. No, it's going to probably be like May or June area, like uh, probably about halfway through the year after I complete a few more games. Yes. So, but guys, that was Blood Rain. Yay! Do we review things on the Vincenity Show, just like my show? Um, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? It was uh, really, really cool. Like, I actually own this game because Vince gave me a copy of it for the GameCube. Remember yeah. that? Yeah, I did. That was part of our trade for one day. As Vin, you, you went through your collection and you're like, oh man, I got doubles of Blood Rain. So I do own this game. You guys should own this as well. It is pretty dang cheap. It was on the PS2, original Xbox, GameCube, and PC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, I didn't really like I downloaded it on the PC to originally play this game. Yeah. Um, just because I, I, I liked doing PC more at that point in time. Yeah. Um, but there was some major, like, capture issues. Like, oh. It wasn't letting the videos finish. It was, like, cutting them off after 75%. Oh. So you, like, were... And there was, there was nothing I could do about it. So you were missing out on so much content. Like, if that you sucks. wanted to follow along with the content, uh, instead of listening to us, which, you know, you're more than welcome to do, like... Some people um, care about the stories, some people care about awesome Vince commentary. I, I like that's, both. That's why you comment and you put up subtitles so that they can choose which one they're they're interested yes. in following. Yeah. But it wasn't giving you that option. Like it was so bad, I did not like it. So. And then I went to the PS2 version. Which, when in doubt, PS2 it out. Yeah. I love the PS2 guys. Uh, so. I got to give you my uh, my rating on this game. I guess you say I'm also going to go with a seven. Uh, yeah. I'll go with a seven point five. Okay. Just, yeah. Um, it seemed really, really frustrating in spots, and I didn't like a few of the segments. Like, a few of the bosses seemed pretty unfair. Uh -huh. A few, like, parts that didn't tell you what the hell to do. Like, when we had to go to the core, and you had to jump to the top of the core and jump in. Mm -hmm. If you remember that. that part, uh, and then also sucked. the bell. Like, yeah. who would have thought of hitting that bell to make it go down? Like, yeah. that was... But um, that's all part of gameplay, and... Uh, I remember this game from my childhood, so that's why I wanted to play it here with you today. I remember really enjoying it. Uh, but, of course, in my childhood, I uh, spammed the crap out of the slow-mo. Yeah. Because dismemberment and slow-mo was just yeah. the coolest thing to me as a it kid. Was. So, of course, we didn't do that that much on this uh, um, Let's Play. But oh, that's hilarious. Any resemblance to persons living or dead or undead is purely in coincidental. <laughs> that's funny. But, yeah. That is Blood Rain, and I really hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, I enjoyed a little piece it. of my childhood, now part of yours. Unless or your, you're or your adult. adulthood. <laughs> yeah, your adulthood. Unless some of you are kids, I don't know. Hi, how's Mrs. Smekanorf's third grade class? Is it good? Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, there's a... Oh, no. Oh, it turned hard. Yep. Oh. It turned, looks like it turned to stone. It's like, damn. I didn't know there was going to be a cutscene. Stomp. Aww. <laughs> just a little more... A little added fuck you just... Fuck yeah, you. Just, just a little tiny light kick. End up in the sewer, you Which dirty bastard it. heart. <laughs> <laughs> And then someone, it like clogs someone's pipe. No, what the hell's this? We so weird. Yeah! That's why you always wait till the end of the the credits. You actually let the credits play. Indeed. You, you might see something you might might have missed. But anyway, that's going to do it for Blood Rain. We'll see you in the next... Adventure. Something. Adventure in... Something. <laughs> Later, dudes! dudes.